Okay, we have a right triangle here with one side missing. So we know that the Pythagorean theorem will work to find us the missing side. So I'm going to write my formula first. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, do you remember what that means? That means that on the side of each side length, there's a square, okay, where the area of the square plus the area of this side square will equal the area of the last square. So that's why we have to square the numbers, but we're given A and B, but we are missing C. Now I know that that one's C because it's across from the right angle. So my first step is I'm gonna fill in the values that I know. So I know, let's see, I'm gonna label this one as A and this one as B, even though we know the legs can be either A or B, we get to choose. So I'm gonna say, okay, 7 is A, so in place of A, I'm going to put 7, and I rewrite, I keep that squared, keep rewriting, do I know B? Yes, I can replace B with 24, keep that squared, and I have no information on C, so I'm going to keep that as C squared. Now, I need to see if there's any math I can do. In my order of operations, I know that it goes parenthesis, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So I don't have parentheses. I do have exponents, so that's what I need to do. I need to do 7 squared. So in my calculator, I'm going to type 7 squared, and it gives me 49. And I did that entire thing, so it's not going to be 49 squared. 7 to the second power is equal to 49, so I have 49. 24 squared in my calculator gives me 576, and I still have nothing on C, so I'm going to keep that equal C squared. Now I'm going to look at my order of operations. I did parentheses, exponent. I don't see multiplication or division. I do see addition. I can do my addition right here, 49 plus 576, and that gives me 625 and I keep that equal C squared part because I have no information on it so far. Now this part right here, this is an equation. We have C by itself and we have a number on the other side just like when we're solving an equation. But the one thing that we have to get rid of is this squared part. Now we know when we have something being multiplied by X, we get rid of it by dividing. When we have something being subtracted, we add. So we need to do the opposite of squaring. And the opposite of squaring is finding the square root. And that cancels the square out, so I find the square root of each side. I have to do the same thing to both sides. This canceled the 2 out, so I'm left with C. And in my calculator, I find the square root of 625, and it is 25. So I have C equals 25, which means that this C right here will be 25. So I know that the lengths of my triangle, the side lengths, are 24, 7, 25.